Tonifer says, I like satire with religion as well as earnest discussion. Me too. Me too. One of the greatest, one of the greatest, one of the greatest uh, things you can watch regarding religion and satire with religion is Dave Allen at large. He was an Irish comedian. One and it was a time where in Benny Hill, I was watching Dave Allen at large in the 1980s and Benny Hill, right? Dave and I, I like Dave, I love Benny Hill, <laughs> really. Benny Hill is amazing, right? But I love Dave Allen at large more than Benny Hill. His jokes, his delivery, and the sketches he did regarding Catholicism and all the different religions, Christianity mainly. He didn't pick on uh, Islam or any other religion. It was mainly Christian, uh, Christianity sati satire, uh, Catholic and Protestant, and jousts between them. Gang, if you've never seen, if you like comedy, if you like comedy, really, gang, I'm gonna pull pull this out as a segment. Gang, if you like comedy. If you like comedy, if you like Benny Hill, if you're around during Benny Hill, Benny Hill is amazing, right? Also check out Dave Allen, Dave Allen at large. One of the greatest comedians in in human history on the same level as Bill Hicks, okay? On the same level as Lenny, uh, they, oh. Lenny, oh, I was looking at him yesterday. Last I forget, uh, Lenny on the same level as uh, as uh, uh, oh my God, what's his name? I, uh, names, 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 names. I hate names <laughs> because uh, uh, Bob. Uh, he had multiple shows. Uh, he was amazing. Oh, I can't remember his name now. I'm gonna kick myself for this. Anyway, look into some of the greatest comedians in history, because they speak more truth than most prophets of most religions. Okay, really, this is if if there's a religion I would follow, I would follow the comedians religion, because they are prophets, many of them okay because they are truth tellers okay because they are truth tellers and dave allen at large was a truth teller like this new heart bob new peter peter you rock i love you thank you bob new heart lenny bruce thank you king vibe i love you thank you lenny bruce bob new heart uh, bill hicks uh, Dave Anna at large, Benny Hill, uh, uh, <laughs> black comedian, he set himself on fire. Um, <laughs> what was it called? <laughs> black comedian, he set himself on fire. Come on, come on, gang. He did a movie called Stir Crazy. Uh, Dave Chappelle, very good. Dave Chappelle, let's start naming some comedians, gang. Dave Chappelle, fantastic. Uh, 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 George Carlin, fantastic, fantastic. Uh, we ain't part of the club, boys. <laughs> George, I saw George Carlin live, by the way. Richard Pryor, Richard Pryor, Pryor, King Vibe, you rock. Richard Pryor and friend is saying it or rumble as well prior richard prior fantastic right gang if you want to get if you want to understand politics economics society humanity turn off all your media everything everything that includes the duran judgment turn that off and just consume some of the comedians that we just mentioned okay watch them You'll know more about politics, economics, and human history than you will watching any type of news. Any type of news. Bob Newhart was a real gem. Have you seen his Stop It uh, ther therapist? <laughs> I used to listen. Regarding Bob Newhart, regarding Bob Newhart, check this out. We used to have a car that I drove in the 80s and 90s, right? It had an 8-track tape. Do you guys remember 8-track? And it was a Bob Newhart sketch. And he talked about 
coffee to buy and he's the cleanest comedian you've ever met he doesn't swear he's g-rated he is brilliant he is brilliant right and i used to listen and it was an oldsmobile it was an oldsmobile family car that i used to drive with an eight track tape and i used to put that eight track tape i hope i have it somewhere i i really some of the things i've i've kept i hope i still have that eight track tape in a box somewhere because it 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 was a gem it was is precious to me right i used to put that on and listen to bob newhart telling his joke over and over and over and over again right and for those of you that are comic book collectors right this this little bit of information will tell you what a gem bob newhart was right bob newhart in the 1980s i believe during the bob newhart show that he had one of the shows that he had he was doing a conference um he was he, he it was during one of his shows right uh bob newhart show i guess and there was a little bit of sketch that they had where they were all sitting in a like a like a hotel like a dinner banquet right and bob newhart speaking and he he brings on check this out this is while no one outside of the hardcore comic book community knew about jack kirby and bob newhart during the sketch during this episode right in a banquet hall says calls on jack kirby in the in the tables that are sitting there eating dinner he says i forget what he said i don't know why he called him up he said one of the greatest artists one of the greatest creators or something like this and he calls on jack kirby and during this episode jack kirby goes on the podium and speaks just for that bob newhart made himself one of the greatest human beings on this planet because at the time where marvel comics was just stole everything from jack kirby including his art bob newhart during his show pays tribute to jack kirby while he was alive while he was alive right man shit that brings tears to my eyes really salute to Bob Newhart and Jack Kirby Jonah hi Chicho do you know wisdom from Jordan Maxwell and he about uh, astro theology what is your opinion regarding astro theology uh jordan gang if you've never gone down the rabbit hole of jordan maxwell i would say take about six months off and explore jordan maxwell's teachings really instead of catching up on the news listen to jordan maxwell okay oh chichin chong <laughs> is in there i didn't mean, oh uh, roan atkinson 100 percent, and chichin chong add that to our com comedian list and norman mcdonald yeah indeed indeed who else do we got who else do we got the marx brothers uh, laurel and hardy i love laurel and hardy charlie chaplin uh who's the guy the comedian black and white actor who had glasses and was missing three of his fingers um i watched a lot of his movies a long time ago gang long time ago so good so good tommy cooper's last show took the heart out of me really elder god can you link it up on our matrix hold on i'm gonna i'm gonna bring up the matrix doink there's our matrix <laughs> server elder god link it us link us up uh bill burr has talent bill burr i know bill burr there uh, there's one guy that he bought his own uh performance 
is that Bill Burr? He's fantastic. He does these funny faces and they didn't want to release it. So he bought it from, uh, who was it? From Hulu or something else. The Eddie G. Happy Sunday, Chicho. Looks like a beautiful afternoon in BC. Love to see it, brother. Me too, me too. It was pretty wacko this morning earlier on. Buster Keaton. Thank you. Mighty Python. Brad comes in with Mighty Python. Peter comes in with Buster Keaton. Buster Keaton. Fantastic. Right? Abbott and Costello. Fantastic. Fantastic. My favorite planet. Sam Obiet. A newer comedian now palestinian and lebanese really really i don't know i don't think i know uh my favorite planet sam obiet gang link it up at our matrix there's a comedy section <laughs> link it up link it up right i'm still active on gilded so you can link it up in gilded as well <laughs> but preferably matrix okay Oh, Gene Wilder. Gene Wilder is so... Man, Gene Wilder, rock and roll, man. Gene Wilder had integrity, really. And his wife, um, so good, so good, so good, so good. Victoria Borga. I don't think I know Victoria Borga, Peter. Salute, salute. Elder says, happy Libertarian Day. Gene Wilder is great. Elder God quote, Paris on Sunday, August 25th, celebrates the 80th anniversary of liberation from German troops in World War II with tributes, military uh, marches, and hosting a flag of the Eiffel Tower. Let's see if they can free themselves from uh, the those fascists that have taken over uh, uh, Europe right now. Gilda Radner, Gilda Radner, so good, so good. Uh, Carol Burnett, so good, so good. I love Carol Burnett as well. And Gilda Radner, man, huge respect, huge respect. <laughs> UTC's Justin Bieber. <laughs> so funny, so funny, so funny, so funny. Oh wow, we're into two hours. Damn, time flies. We're having fun. I got another cigar to go to, but I think we'll might do a live stream during a week if I can. If it's sunny, we do. I want to smoke another cigar and have a few drinks. Eddie G, my mom, and I, my mom and I would watch Gene Wilder movies with Richard Pryor. Yeah, so good, so good. Dom de Louise. Yes, yes, yes. Very good, actually. Very good. Not enough respect for Dom DeLuise. He was good. I like Bar Chicho. I know this is an obvious question, but I figured I'd ask anyway. Why is it that whenever you question the motivations of Israel, it's always misunderstood as anti-Semitic? Uh, corporate media, because they're using it. They're using anti-Semitism as a weapon, just like the U.S. government used the U.S. dollar as a weapon. Well, guess what? That's failing. So will the anti-Semitism attack on humanity, right? Rodney Dangerfield, <laughs> also. <laughs> right, Chicho has great days. Chicho has great days. Man, you guys do as well. Buddy Hackett, Buddy Hackett. Oh, man, that name rings a bell. Buddy Hackett, Buddy Hackett, Buddy Hackett. Why am I not placing it? Rodney Dangerfield had charm. Rodney Dangerfield had charm. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Do we miss any... Uh, huge comedians elder god tommy cooper's unexpected death on stage on stage at her majesty's theater on 15th oh, i gotta read that what is this uh, 15th april 1984 remains one of the saddest and most surreal moments in uk comedy history known to his uh, known for his slapstick uh, humor and botched magic tricks family favorite cooper collapsed mid-act during during to a massive heart attack really 
the audience initially assuming it was part of the act roared with ra- laughter as he lay on the stage emitting what sounded like snoring really i didn't know this despite the frantic efforts of production staff and paramedics backstage cooper was pronounced dead on arrival at westminster hospital whoa oh my god link it up i don't i haven't seen this <laughs> rodney dangerfield take my wife please <laughs> dom de louise dom de louise and rodney dangerfield indeed uh barface have you heard much of brian rogan ah the name, name ring is about i like his neurotic style he's a fairly quote clean comic but points out absurdities in a funny way he has some funny bits about the medical industry consumerism no no i i, I know the name the name rings a bell but bad joke bad joke jim brewer is really good jim uh, brewer is recent uh, contemporary comedian is really good really good look up the peter saying look up the animation of bill burr's quote helicopter story it is gold really okay henry young man henry young man mostly women at the dsc take my wife with henry young man angry woman angry woman for your information my granddad was actually at that show really elder god whoa i, I haven't seen that Oh, something I saw last night with uh, my partner's wife and my partner we watched last night. It was uh, Nicholas and Mary. Nicholas and Mary, I think, a comedic duo that was present in the 1960s, black and white. They did a lot of sketches, improv. I think they were they, they were one of the founders of improv. Nicholas and Mary. I watched last night, and this is the first time I've seen them laugh my ass off laugh my ass off okay and nicholas and mary i thought initially they were like a couple but they weren't they were just a duo that did improv and nicholas i forget his first name nicholas ended up writing uh the graduate and he did a writing for numerous uh, the graduate was the one i recognized the most very good very good sam Kinnison, I don't know Sam Kinnison, Plutarch Pullers. Jakey Chicho, have you ever heard of Project Pat? He's a 90s rapper. Just one, I don't think so. I don't think I have, no. Brad Chicho, never marry a crazy lady. There's a saying that says a woman can make you or break you okay uh i i have known i've heard that saying 30 years ago right and i took it to heart a woman let's just say a really a partner can make you or break you choose wisely salute 